You know what was sad is PS4 came out and there is no Ridge Racer for it. I miss the Ridge Racer. Huh? But of course, we now have it on the iOS platform with Ridge Racer Slipstream. And is this any sort of consolation, Marissa? Well, I didn't really get into Ridge Racer at all because I just felt like the lady that was always talking to me while I was playing was just kind of overtly flirty. She was just always flirting with me. Yeah, that's and I felt really uncomfortable. It's part of why it's so awesome. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I don't like it. You're almost there. I feel uncomfortable when she speaks to me sometimes a little too much. Of course, Slipstream is in the name, and Slipstreaming is when you sneak up behind an enemy car or an opponent's car and use their wind, their tailwind, to get faster. You're Slipstreaming! This is a similar effect to what you do when you actually have your nitrous boost going on. And once again, because this is a Ridge Racer game, there's a strong emphasis on drifting. So when you're going around corners, you don't want to actually drive them properly. You want to just steer like a madman or a madwoman and tap on the brake. And this causes you to drift. And sometimes it gets really nauseating when you're going through these corners. And I actually went through the entire game while I was playing. And I, I used tilt control, so my iPad was just going back and forth like crazy and I felt like I was going to throw up for a good part of it. I know they had to use the accelerometer just because all racing games that come out now for iOS really do, but there's just no need for it because the controls that just use the actual buttons left and right and then the brake, that was the perfect control system for this game. That's all you really need. The game wants you to win, so it's not incredibly difficult yeah. at all. So the controls definitely are there to aid you. Even if you're not hitting it right, even if you don't break at the right time, you're probably going to win or come in second place. It's yeah. not a big challenge with this one. Yeah, well, especially if you've played a few races and you've got a few under your belt, then it's much easier to be better at the races. Because at first, if you're not used to the tilt controls or you're not used to the arrow controls, it feels a little overwhelming because there are a lot of different cars that you're up against. Some of them seem like they're cheating. There's a little yeah. bit of that whole Mario Kart rubber banding that's going on I where... it happens a lot. Even when you're in your turbo boost, mm -hmm. even when you've gone into full burst, it doesn't matter. It seems like they're always right behind you anyway. Yeah. So I hate that. I hate that because you're drifting so much and you collect these boosts and then you use them and it just feels like it was kind of a waste. Yeah. There was really no point in it at all. Unfortunately, even though this is a pay game, there's a lot of in-app purchasing going on. So many. There are racing games that are out there for free with in-app purchases that you and I have played and have actually yeah. enjoyed. Like Real Racing 3, exactly. which is absolutely beautiful. It's right. as close to getting like a Forza Motorsport on an iOS platform as you're going to get. Exactly. But with this game, you're paying for it, plus there are in-app purchases. Like, there's an in-app purchase in this one for $50. That's insane. All Ridge Racer Slipstream did was make me want an actual PS4 Ridge Racer instead of this iOS iOS one. Marissa, what are you going to give this game? It's getting a six. I'm giving it a six as well.